Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we are discussing about RESTful ABA programming model in SAP. So far we have seen uh, what are our behavior definitions and what is our projection behavior definitions. So today in this video we are going to talk about uh, uh, service binding and uh, service definitions, right? Okay, let's get started. So uh, on our uh, IViews we have already created a behavior definitions. On top of the C views, we have already created our projection behavior definition. Okay, so if I want my uh, business object to outside world, so I need to create a service layer for that. So for that, we need to do a first create a service definition where we need to expose our entities to the outside world. And second thing is the service binding. So on top of this service definition, so we are going to tell on what kind of binding uh, uh, on what kind of applications we are going to provide whether we are going to provide as a ui applications or whether we are going to be providing as a uh, uh, web apps okay so basically here uh, i am trying to create a ui application so in uh, service by i am going to create a say okay this is my uh, task conception view okay so here what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a new service definition for it. So let's create GST service definition for task app. Okay. So transformation transfer. Okay, the reference to object will be GC task. So let me directly create the object. Okay. So here, uh, as the reference object is GC task, it's it's a default exposure to the service definition. So this is my service definition name. So in a, uh, along with this uh, uh, task, I'm going to expose my item as well to the outside value. So I have exposed this. Activate it okay it's get activated all right so these are the two entities i'm going to expose if you have other like a value helps or other text tables or and you want to expose it or any other entities you want to expose and you want to add some uh, uh, ui logic that then you can expose it here okay so once i expose i have a business service layer if I check here, I have a, a service definition which was created now. So, okay, now we are going to create a service binding on top of the service definition, right? So, right click on this, click on new service binding. So, you can give name like a UI SD task or task one, task application service binding. So there is a lot of uh, binding types are available, but uh, in our use case, uh, we are going to create a UI applications of O data version two. If you prefer UO data version V four, you can go for this option. But I am going with this option version two U five. So click on finish. So this is my service binding created. So it tells me to enable publish of local service method, activate the service binding. So let me activate this. Okay, it is activated. Also it uh, tells me that to publish this local service endpoint. It's not actually published uh, right now. So let me uh, try to publish this. okay so this is the service binding uh, so we have created so these are the entity sets so how do we uh, execute it from our uh, browser so you can click this and you can click on this preview or else you can double click on the same so it's getting executed so if i click go it won't have any data it's okay so first we need to create a data okay for that i have already done 
uh, I set up the uh, class actually it's a temporary class which implements this interface okay it has a main method which has all the uh, logic for uh, uh, data creation okay so you could see here that I have created uh, I have set up the data for the first task and uh, followed by a couple of uh, task items and the second task and followed by three task item okay and finally I'm just inserting it to the database tables so what I do is I'm just simply execute this in the console so so data got created successfully so now I go back to my browser click on go so you will have the two entries okay let's say if I'm going to the second entries okay so this is a header level asset it will display the header items or sorry header details and this is the task items which will get displayed for uh, for the for this task so you could see here there are three task items and this you do date and due time also has been mentioned here if i want to see the first task item i can click on this it will show me that task item as well so I'll go back and if i want to see the first the first one also it pick the it has the task and task item as well okay 